Science Journal for Kids and Teens presents How Much Plastic from the Pandemic Ends Up in the Ocean Adapted from the original peer-reviewed paper in the journal PNAS, published on November 8, 2021. Research conducted by Yiming Peng, Hei Pei Wu, Amina Shartup, and Yan Xu Zhang from the School of Atmospheric Sciences at Nanjing University in China and the Scripps Institute of Oceanography in the U.S. See the full list of affiliations in the accompanying PDF. Read by Miranda Wilson. Abstract. Have you ever noticed face masks littering the streets? They've become part of day-to-day -day life, but where do they end up? It's estimated that around 1.5 billion face masks entered the oceans in 2020. And it's not just masks. During the COVID-19 pandemic, we have made a lot more plastic for different uses. We wanted to find out how much extra plastic waste there is due to the pandemic. We also wanted to find out how much enters the ocean and where it eventually ends up. We used data from lots of different sources to work out how much extra plastic has been made for the pandemic. We then used scientific models to work out how much of this plastic ended up in rivers and then the ocean. We found out that over 8 million tons of extra plastic waste has been made globally due to the pandemic. Over 25,000 tons of this has entered the ocean, where it can harm marine wildlife. Introduction You might have seen photos of turtles accidentally eating plastic bags, or with plastic straws stuck up their noses. Shocking, right? Politicians thought so too. So, many countries today have bans on some plastic products. But now we have a new plastic problem, plastic waste from the pandemic. We already have an out of control global plastic waste problem. Imagine the weight of every single human on the planet put together. It's about 300 million tons, close to the weight of plastic waste that we produce every year. And the COVID-19 pandemic has only made this worse. It all comes down to why we love plastic so much. It's strong, it lasts a long time, and it's cheap. Plastic is important in healthcare, where we need disposable items for safety. As COVID-19 cases have increased, so has the amount of plastic waste. We even got rid of some rules on single-use plastics to keep up with the need for personal protective equipment. Here in the photo, you can see a healthcare worker in personal protective equipment carrying out a COVID-19 test. The person is in a blue gown on the right side of the photo. They have purple gloved hands and are holding a cotton swab. How we manage plastic waste hasn't kept up. A portion of this waste is not handled or recycled. We call this mismanaged plastic waste. After we are done using it, this waste goes on a journey of its own. Some of it ends up in the ocean where it can injure or kill marine wildlife. But we still don't know much about plastic waste from the pandemic. We wanted to find out how much extra plastic waste is being made due to the pandemic and how much enters the ocean, where does it come from and where does it go? Methods. First, we calculated how much extra plastic waste is being made due to the COVID-19 pandemic. We investigated four sources of plastic. One, hospital-generated medical waste. How many COVID-19 patients are in hospitals across the world? And how much plastic waste is created by caring for one patient? Two, virus testing kits. How many COVID-19 tests have been produced? and how much plastic waste comes out from each test. Three, personal protective equipment, or PPE. How many face masks are being made, and how often does each person use a new mask? And four, online shopping packaging. How has online shopping changed due to the pandemic, and how much plastic waste is in packaging materials? We use different sources of data to answer these questions. We use data from the World Health Organization and shopping reports from big companies like Amazon. 
We then worked out how much extra plastic waste has been made due to the pandemic and how much of it is mismanaged. Next, we looked at 369 major rivers to see how they would transport the plastic waste. We calculated how much plastic each river would carry to the ocean. Finally, we worked out where in the ocean this mismanaged plastic waste from the pandemic would end up. We did this by using a plastic circulation computer model. Here in figure one, you can see our models showing where plastic waste could end up on the world's beaches in 2025. The different colors show the amount of plastic per square kilometer of beach. Warm colors like reds and oranges indicate more plastic and white and light blue indicate less plastic. The pins on the map show the rivers that carry the most waste. The names of those rivers, their countries of origin, and the amount of plastic they could transport are noted at the bottom of the map. Some rivers are more energetic than others, so they transport more plastic waste to the ocean. What are the top three rivers for transporting plastic from the pandemic? Results. We found that People produced more than 8 million tons of extra plastic waste due to the pandemic. 87% of this comes from hospitals. 26,000 tons of this has been released into the ocean. Most of the plastic waste came from Asia, 72%. That's roughly 2,000 fully loaded large garbage trucks worth. PPE, like face masks, only contributed to 7.6% of the total excess plastic waste. Most of this plastic waste will end up on the beach, 71%, and in the coastal environment. And even worse, in three to four years, the impact could spread into the open ocean. By 2025, a lot of plastic will end up in the Arctic Ocean. Discussion. The COVID-19 pandemic has shown us how important plastic is in healthcare, but the extra plastic is not managed properly. A lot of mismanaged plastic waste from the pandemic ends up in the ocean. There it can injure and even kill marine wildlife. Fish, seabirds, turtles, and marine mammals all accidentally eat plastic waste. It's thought that half of all turtles worldwide have eaten plastic. And it's not just them. Some of the plastic breaks up into tiny pieces that can end up in the food we eat too. Ocean currents direct plastic from all over the world to the Arctic Ocean. This is especially worrying because the Arctic ecosystem is very vulnerable. It may seem far away, but plastic from all over the globe will end up trapped there. So, we need better management of medical waste in developing countries. New technologies for plastic waste collection and recycling could help this. We should also focus on creating new, more environmentally friendly materials. For our plastic problem to end, we need everyone to be on board. Can you help us spread the word? Conclusion. There are lots of actions you can take to help reduce the plastic problem. One. Reduce your use of single-use plastics, like water bottles and takeout containers. If you can, buy reusable alternatives. 2. Recycle properly. Find out what can and can't be recycled in your local area, and make sure that you recycle everything that you can. 3. Organize or take part in a beach or river cleanup. Help to remove plastics from the ocean and stop them from getting there in the first place. And four, spread the word. Help others to be part of the solution. Thank you for listening to this recording. Visit our website, sciencejournalforkids.org, for more free science teaching resources.